That is my guy. He's my guy. I feel like there's a butt coming. But he's kind of a bitch. We live? We live. We live. Welcome back to the Opinion Factory Podcast, the podcast for free thinkers and challenge seekers. Yes, sir. I'm Khalil. I'm Alex. I'm not going to lie to you, man. I was watching uh, I was watching some DC movies the other day, right? Animated movies? Both. Live action movies? Yeah, yeah. Both live action and animated, man. Okay. I'm not going to okay, lie okay. to you, man. Um, that is my guy. He's my guy. I feel like there's a butt coming. But he's kind of a bitch. What? Yeah, like Batman, like I ain't gonna lie to you. Batman's kind of. Uh, you say he's a bitch. It's kind of a bitch. Bro. Don't talk about my man Bruce Wayne like that, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you, man. I mean, maybe Bruce Wayne isn't one, but like Batman, like the guy with the mask goes around beating people up. Well, kinda, you don't like that? Uh, no, nah, it's all it's all good. It's all good. I'm, not, <laughs> I'm not debating vigilantism with you and all that. That's, that's all good. You can do whatever. Okay. Why is he a bitch? You know, some people just deserve to die, man. You know. Wow. Some people cause so much havoc in the world that the world would be so much far better off without them there. Right? Like, you know, like mass murderers, serial killers, terrorists, child rapists. You know, like those type of people. The world would just be so much better off without them. Right? That's I'm your not saying, opinion. I'm not yeah, saying, yeah, okay. I'm not, saying, I'm not saying you can do this with every single one of them. So, but there's some ones that just go so far in this extreme, like extreme terrorist. You're looking at someone in particular. Extreme, yes, you know. And there's one guy that Batman fights with a lot. If you don't know Batman, I'll just give you a quick debrief, right? Okay. He fights with him over and over again. Harvey Dent. No, no. Penguin. He wears a clown makeup. He had actually one of the most uh, Riddler. popular movies. You know it's a Joker, but you can keep guessing. <laughs> I'm talking about the Joker. Sick ass guy. He's killed like whole studio audiences. He's killed, like, he has to have over, like, thousands and thousands of death on his hands. Right? It's fair to say? Sure. He's fair not, fair to say, he's not the only Batman villain with thousands not, of thousands of deaths on his hands, though. Penguin be murking children. Penguin, yes, yes, yes. Children. Penguin is, Orphans. Penguin's the only one I might throw in here. All right? Harvey Dent? But not the same. Flip of a coin? Stop, not Will the same. Will that blow not, this building not, hey, hey, This man's hey, dropping hey, buildings, bro. Hey, hey, what? hey. <laughs> Listen. Talking about the Joker here, right? I mean, the guy right. has killed people over and over again to a ridiculous extent. There's no, you know, at least with Penguin and, and at least Penguin has like some type of motive here, right? This guy's just for the fuck of it. He, he has doesn't. A motive. He just, I'm not. I'm really not defending. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he has a motive. Go ahead, elaborate, bro. No, right. he has a motive. He's just anarchy. The deconstruction of society. He's, yeah, he's an anarchist, man. Yeah, it's yeah. a terrible motive. It's a motive, nonetheless. At least Penguin's trying Penguin to get, has a good motive, though. At least it's power and money. At least it's like something like, all right, you know, like you're enforcing it, but I can see where you're trying to go. <laughs> all like, right. right. Like, at least, at least with Penguin, it's like something. All right, Penguin like, Jr. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. All right. This dude, Joker, kills everybody all the time. And with Joker, like, with Joker, there's just no, there's no predetermination of who I'm going to kill. It's just like, oh, there's some woman So on is the that street. what you don't like, just the randomness? If it's we're talking like, about like terrorists like, like and mass murderers, like, yeah, it's like these school shootings. It's like there's, mad. There's it's like mad. Random. There's reasons. So he's even worse. So Joker's even worse than my fault. Joker's even worse than terrorists and, and school shootings. My bad. Joker's worse than them. You're right. Go ahead. So let's. let's no, yeah, I'm just, even, even, yeah, you, no, no, no. You put yeah, them on the same yeah. level, so I was making sure that yeah. you knew no, no, what yeah, exactly right, 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 the right, similarities right, right, and differences right. were. At least, like, at least a terrorist. At least a terrorist. They have like some, like some god. Driven society or, or something going on right, there. Right, the infidels. Right. And then here, Joker's just like, nah, F everything. Right? So, you can talk about We can talk whatever. about Joker's motives. I mean, like, no. he wants to save society in his own way. Just to show people just how crazy everything really is. Yeah, and in, in his world, no matter what world, he'd be like, oh, that's crazy too. I promise you. No. But, like, you saw The Dark Knight. How he's talking about, you know, all, the, all, all these soldiers go off and they fight and they die and yada, yada, yada. Yes, but that sucks. And you do this one thing and then everybody loses their minds. And it's like, you know, I forgot what the actual line was. That, But a lot of people like, you know, he kind of has a point. Yeah, he can have a point. And in that new Joker, I haven't seen the new Joker movie I yet. I have not seen the Joker movie. But a movie. lot of people are saying, you know, I've been, I, I never even expected they were just to saying, sympathize 
with someone yes. as crazy as the Joker. Movies can make you sympathize with anything, man. You seen the long, you saw the Longest Yard? No, I haven't. Maybe a long time ago. I don't remember. The Adam Sandler, there. Chris Rock. Was that the jail prison fo- movie? Jail football movie? Yeah, yeah. I remember like the premise. Everyone was siding with the prisoners, man. Like, oh, this guy killed somebody. This guy's in here for. I mean, know, sure, somebody, sure, you know? sure. But what I'm saying can, is, movies can make you sympathize. You're trying with to anybody. make it seem like Joker is just uh, this random, you know. And in some ways, he is. He is very random. But there is an underlying principle that he thinks that we're the crazy ones, and he's trying to show us just how crazy yes. we are. And the very crazy guy is going to show me how crazy I am. Maybe you're the crazy very crazy guy, and he's the only one who knows what's going on. Who yes. That's what's going on in his head. Everyone's crazy but you. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Keep, keep, and keep the people going, who works yeah. for him. <laughs> save, save it, buddy. Save it, buddy. Save it, buddy. People I work for him know he's crazy, too. They're getting a paycheck. Not Harley Quinn. She's been deranged. Different, different... Anyways, whole different thing. We could talk right. Whole different thing. Right. 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 Yeah. I want to get back. To, I want to get back to my main point while calling Batman a bitch right now. Oh right? my gosh. This person <sighs> has murdered people over and over and over again. Goes to jail, same jails. Gets out every single time. Comes back and then murks people over and over. It's like a repeating cycle. And oh, so just I'm gonna kill him. Yes. Batman should just like yes. Put a battering in his neck. A hundred percent. All right. 100%. The yeah. police have showed you they're incapable of doing what society needs. <laughs> so you're saying right? that this some is people the deserve one, to die. This is the one exception. You say right? some people deserve to 100%. die. 100%. And who decides that? Batman? Batman, in his given role, decides who the, lives and dies? He kind of He's kind of mm, been given a lot no. of leeway here. Yeah, but he doesn't decide who lives and dies. He doesn't. And he the doesn't. reason why he's been allowed to operate the way that he's been operating is for that very fact. He doesn't kill anyone. <sighs> I would say there's a little more than the fact he just... There's more kill. than that, of yeah. course. But if he's sort of killing people, you think the police are like, all right, you know, he died? How'd he die? Batman? All right, fine. They can let that go. They're not going to do that. I think the police would be like, oh, Batman killed Joker? Oh, I understand. It's okay. You or think that's probably, what they would do? Or he probably tried to save him or something. Joker forced his hand. Like, I think the police would understand in Joker's situation. If Joker forced like, his hand, that's a different scenario than no, Batman but the putting police, a battering if in Batman his was neck. Like, if Batman was like, he didn't give me an option. The police wouldn't give him. Uh, the police would not give him grief about that. I'm, I'm like, I'm very, I'm very, very sure. If Batman said he didn't give if me an ba- option. If Batman was like, yeah, it was either save these people or kill Joker, and I chose to save the. I mean, it was either save these people, Batman's and kill Joker or sp- or. You know how many times he's been in that situation? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You know how many hold times on, hold on, hold on, hold on. he's been in that situation? You know, let me, let me finish this, oh. describing the scenario. Go man. ahead, go ahead. Let me describe the scenario to the people, man. Can I do that? Go All ahead, right? go ahead. So Batman was in a position where he had to kill the Joker and it would save a, a bunch of people, right? Or he can spit he could spare the Joker and the people may or may not die. So I feel But like they won't but let's say they don't die. Let's say they don't die, right? Or but in a situation like Joker's holding like a let's say like a, a detonator device. He's never done that before. <laughs> He's holding a detonator device. Okay. Right? And the only way to solve him is to kill him. Because you can't, like... <laughs> that's the only way to disarm him. As it, Batman. As as Batman. That's the only way you know how to disarm a person. It's probably the best way. <laughs> it's probably the best way. Let's For Batman? Like, in his mind, the best way is to kill this person. In, I feel like your issue is that you don't really know Batman. No, 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 no
If they knew he was just a man, Ma- Batman is a myth. He's more no 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 to the criminal element of Gotham City. He's more than just a man. You know how many times? Oh. You know how many scenes in the comic books and the video games where he, where he's around? He's like, "What are you?" That's all they say. What yes, are yes, you? Yes, yes, what yes, is yes, this? yes, yes, yes. Would you say that to a man? I, I, what I, are you? I, Come I, on, bro. I believe that's more of the fear talking and seeing what he has done. What right? are you? Yes, I believe it's more. It's part the, of the myth. Yeah, this man the, is out the, every in the fear. In the fear, they haven't killed this guy. But like Joker knows he's a regular guy. Like Penguin knows he's a regular no. guy. Joker doesn't know he's a regular guy. No, 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 no. He's not just a man to those people. Do you read the comics? Do you play the games? Do you know the source material? I'm telling you this as a fact. Batman is a myth. He's a force of nature. He's I get more that. than just a man. But you're telling to the me criminal element of Gotham City. Joker doesn't know he's a guy. To the Joker, he's more than just a guy. Does Joker believe Batman is like not a human being? Is what I'm saying to you. That's what I'm saying. Maybe I'm, I'm maybe I'm maybe I'm misphrasing what I'm saying. Does Joker think he's a human being? Sure. Yes. And he does he think does Joker think Batman is like some freaking like walk on water type person? That's what I'm asking. You think that's what the other people think? Those saying what are you? No, he's I a walk on water no, type th- person. Those type of people think he kind of is because of all the stuff that he pulls off, where he shouldn't get away with it. Where they have guns and this dude's like dodging shit and all this type. Of... Joker scene. Either that. way, either way, I don't, don't want to get I don't want to get too far off this off my. That's topic. an important point though. It is an important point. He is he is. Let's keep that in mind moving forward. Yes, Batman has created a godlike fear in these people. Fair. Batman is a force of nature who has created a godlike fear in these people. <sighs> if people, if Batman you know, was viewed as just for, a man, bro, he would for, not work. For the sake of argument. For the sake of argument, I will give this to you. Right. It's a fact. For the sake of argument, I will give this That's to you. That's the myth that the comics the have built of, up for Batman. Yes, it has. So let's take it. Let's take it. Let's move Let's move Let's move forward. Let's move forward. Continue. All right. Back to my point. Right? Your point was him not being able. The police wouldn't like him killing people. No, obviously not. Okay. Obviously not, right? And and obviously, I get that's your ways of this Batman. Oh, he find another way because he's Batman. He always does, you know, like yeah. that red hood bullshit. All the, all the, all the other, oh, you know, all, all the other that stuff. That was dope, though. All the other stuff. Don't, don't front. No. That was dope. I fucking hate it. That was dope. I hate it. You're bugging. And he survived. You're bugging. And Joker survived. You're wild in right And Joker now. survived. That was a great moment. If you haven't watched Under the Red Hood, you know, I don't want to get, watch it. I don't want to get, you know, I'm not going to get too deep into this comic thing for people who don't understand, right? You have I want, to. I want to make it. I want to make, so it, make it understood. I want to make it a bigger scenario, right? Go ahead. I keep cutting you off. My bad. Joker was holding somebody hostage. No, no, I'm sorry. Somebody was holding Joker hostage, and the person that was holding Joker hostage was like, "How the hell have you let the Joker live?" It's kind of. I feel. I. You know, that's my guy. I feel the same exact way he does. How the hell have you let this guy, that's killed all these people, mm-hmm. keep going to prison, mm-hmm. and then you know he's gonna get out, and you mm-hmm. keep letting him like. You just catch him again, like oh, it's just like oh, he's just like a like a petty thief or something, mm-hmm. right? While well, this guy's holding Joker hostage, he's like, if you don't kill me, I'm gonna kill him, right? Am I, am I remembering that correctly? Yeah, kill right? me or I'm gonna kill him. Yes, that's that's yeah. Everything good? Yeah, the guy told Batman, kill me or else I'm gonna kill the Joker. Yes, and Batman, Captain the bullshit today, or on this specific day. Don't disrespect my man's like that, bro. Captain of some bullshit. Or just for the day, I'll say. He throws like a what? He throw a battering into the into, into the barrel of the gun. And, yeah. Dope. He shot the bullet. It exploded in his hand. And he saved everybody. I mean, everybody. Yeah. You know why? <laughs> why? 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 Because he's why? Batman, why? bro. Why? Because no, no, he's no, no, Batman. No, 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 no. That's why? it. Why? Because he's Batman. That's not enough. What do you mean that's not enough? Not enough. That's all he not needs. Enough. You see, a simple, a simple good hero. Or just, or just a, a simple good hero or just a, or would murder people just, if he saw his fit. No, no, just a smart person would be like, you know what? I'm not gonna kill you. If you want to kill Joker, <laughs> I understand. That's all that would happen. He's like, if you want to kill Joker after everything that's happened, I get that. And you don't think the Joker's death would be on his hands at that point? No. What? How would it be on his hands? He literally let someone kill the Joker when he could have stopped that death. He could have potentially stopped that death. And he knew he could have stopped that death, he could have put, which he did. Could have put but you chances, wanted him to I mean, not right, do hold on, it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What are the chances in the timing of everything's gonna go smoothly, perfectly? Out of, We're talking out. about Batman. Bro. Yes, come on, bro. Come We're up, talking about Batman. Come on, come on. He's not. He's not. A, he's not God, bro. Have you? Have he's you not, seen what he's done? I've seen what he's done. I'm telling you, what are the chances of him even having? Like, if I'm gonna shoot somebody, right? 
They're going to be able to throw something <laughs> at the barrel of my gun. Yep. And it will be the perfect timing before my gun explodes, well, yep. which I don't even yep. know the physics yep. behind it. Yep. Come on, man. Absolutely. Come on. Man. <laughs> Absolutely. Come on. Come on yep. Man. Come on. You can't believe it, can you? Come on, man. Seems like he's more than just a man, right? Come on, man. Right? Come on. Anyways, back. Come on, bro. This is this is besides but the point. This I, is no, I want to say on the specific point where this guy's like, you killed Joker. I completely get it. Some people just no. simply deserve to die. Because if you're operating a person where Batman it, is operating, which is at the highest possible moral level that you personally can operate on, you oh, will man. not. Let a death occur that you can prevent. Especially when you have the same morality, the same beliefs as Batman, where all life is sacred. He literally says this. Life is sacred in and of itself. Doesn't matter who is alive. Doesn't matter who this life belongs to or what this life has done. Life itself is sacred. That's something he believes. You can disagree with that. But that's something Batman believes and that's something Dude, he oh, upholds. I 100% disagree with that. And that's fine. 100%. That's fine. Life can be sacred you know, when it's... No, that's, you can disagree with that, but I'm telling you what the comics... you asking why no, Batman no, no. hasn't yes, killed Joker. No, 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 I... I know what you're saying. I understand what you're saying. All right? No. It makes sense. I would hope you understand. All right? But, you know, this can... This is, I think the word is... Uh, fuck, I just lost it. Discretion? No, it's like... Desec, desec, oh, man. Oh, whatever. The, the word is losing my mind. I'll, I'll, I'll put it in the, in the video. When it, when it comes back to me, right? Uh -huh. But things lose their value over time, right? And that same thing can apply to almost anything. You can believe that if you want to. Listen, this, 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 right now, this, this, this is a this, fundamental this, difference right, you know, in belief between you yes. and Batman. Batman all right? can Just have, understand that. Batman can have his moral beliefs be whatever the hell he wants to have, right? That, no, listen, he got his moral beliefs be whatever the hell he wants him to be, right? Batman can believe being a good person is respecting everybody, kissing their hand, or. You know, being a bad guy takes you further in life. He can believe whatever the hell he wants to believe. Sure. But then when the practicality of certain things do not match your morality, certain other things need to be done. But think about the practicality of what you're proposing. What? This one man yes. is now deciding who lives and who dies. Not the state, not the courts, not the government, but Batman. You all, want Batman to decide. All that have been chosen. And you think that's practical? All have been chosen to be inept, right? All have been chosen to be inept in Gotham, to be fair, right? And, and no, Batman decides, no, 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 I don't like no. what you guys are doing, so I'm just going to do my own thing. Batman has been operating with these organizations that have been chosen to be inept, right? And he's been trying to make them better, right? Sure. Yes, 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 good. So, his way of putting his foot down is simply this. You guys have a, this, this one person continuously... There's more than one person, but okay, let's talk about Joker specifically. Talk about Joker, right? Continuously massacre people left and right. Terrorize people left and right. Thousands upon thousands of deaths, right? Goes to jail, goes to psychiatric ward, and you somehow keep letting him go out. or Letting, letting him, do, him. Or letting him do TV appearances or whatever it, whatever it is, right? That happened one time, bro. All right. <laughs> Should never happen. Should never happen. He was rehabilitated. Rehabilitated. It's foolish nonsense, man. Not everyone can be saved. Continue. Not everyone can be saved, right? Continue. On your so point. Batman simply says, you know what? I'm putting my foot down with you guys. You guys have been shown to be inept over time. This guy simply deserves to die. Right? So next time he next time he does some some wild shit, right? Some 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 crazy Something that I decide is some wild shit. Something that everyone decides is some wild shit, which is why it's punished by the courts everyone. and the law. Yes. Everyone. Yes. So why isn't the course really killed him yet if everyone thinks that he deserves to no, die? No, no, no. I don't think he deserves to die. No, 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 no. Stay with me. Stay with me. Stay with me. I just said everyone knows it's some wild shit. That's all I said. That's all I said. I didn't say everyone knows he deserves to die. Go ahead. Stay with me. Stay okay. with me. Stay okay, with okay. Me. Stay with me. So everyone knows this is some wild shit, right? Everyone knows. Including right? Batman. Yes, including Batman. Everybody mm -hmm. knows. Yes, right. everybody knows, including Batman. Yes. <laughs> so he's like, you know what? This is the last time this is happening. Batman know. decides this yes. is the last time. Not, the, not, the, not everyone. Batman decides this is the last time. Yes. I'm following. Got you. Yes. Batman okay. decides. Yes. But. As if he's like some kind of court system or something. No. Hold on. But to, to be fair. Also, public opinion, which I'm pretty sure Batman has a, a great feel on. No, 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 no. Don't make those faces. Don't make those faces. What are you going to say about public opinion and, public opinion is like, and, uh, and deaths? 
Joker probably shouldn't be alive. So the public. Oh, 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 no, 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 If the public thinks that someone needs to die, then someone should go out and kill this person. It's not someone needs to die. It's that this one person. Yes. The world would be much better. So if the public decides that this one person needs to die, no, someone should go out and say, no, 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 not that by itself. Not that by itself. I agree with you. I agree with you, right? Okay. We, we can all decide. We can all decide the president should die, or like fifty-five percent people decide the president should like die. Like I told you in the last episode with the Reddit witch hunt, when they thought they found the yeah, Boston yeah, Marathon bomber. Yeah, yeah. If they all agreed that this person should be dead, they could have killed the wrong. I, I'm just saying, but yeah. No, I do not want to go down that road. Okay. All right. I found, all right. Go ahead. But that, combined with all the wild things this person has done, combined with all the lies this person has caused. Combined with all the times this person has gone out of jail, combined with all the times he's gone out of psychi- psychiatric ward. Do you like? I, do you understand? No, I it's understand. A, it's a, it's a I understand, I understand of, why you think that Joker should die, and that's a point. And you're that saying I can Batman get shouldn't kill him. But I don't understand why we put the onus of that decision on Batman. Why is he the one person? Because why is he the custodian of Joker's life? He's not the custodian of Joker's life. I'm not saying he should be. Right. So why are you saying why hasn't Batman killed the Joker? Why aren't you asking why haven't the courts killed him or why haven't a random police officer from when you know from when Batman brings him to the GCPD? Why aren't you asking why hasn't some police officer walked same, up and shot him in the I head this, and took the repercussions? I have the same beef with the police officers. The same beef. Don't because Gotham closer. can afford Hold losing on. a police officer, but can Gotham yes. afford losing Batman? That is a whole. I feel like that's no, no, no. If not Batman fair, kills not the Joker, not fair not fair if Batman comparison. kills the Joker, yes. Obviously, the way that Gotham City looks at him is going to change a lot. Will he still be as effective? Do you think? Hold on. Who said Bat- Batman? Has- the Batman doesn't have the public to kill the Joker. So you th- you're saying Batman should kill the Joker, and no one should know that Batman killed the Joker. No, I'm just saying in situations where the Joker's holding people hostage, he's like, "I'm taking you out." Let's put a battering in his neck. Yes. Very and publicly. Because, and because there's other, I know Batman is has other ways to do it. Right, but very publicly, kill the Joker, and you think he's going to still be. I'm sick of your shit. You're dead. No, and it's not. he's done. It's, it's, I'm imagining it in a very different way than you are. Right? But why else would Batman kill him if not out of anger and out of it's out of disdain, out of, out of frustration? It's not, out of, out of, it's not out of any of those things. No emotion at all, just no, you're no, dead because no, 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 that's no, no, what I'm feeling today. It's a no, Tuesday. No, listen, listen. Like that, listen, bro, listen, come on. Listen, I understand I'm coming at your guy. There absolutely has to be an element of emotion in this decision to kill the Joker. I'm not saying it's not. Yo, Batman's my guy too, man. I'm Batman's just trying to understand why you Batman's think Batman too, should, right? why he needs to kill the Joker. But that's because he's my guy. I'm not seeing no faults in him. No, he has right? faults. Right. I can see faults in him. And I'm simply saying. I don't think this is one, though. It wouldn't be in a situation where, like, Joker's just on the street just chilling one day. No, of it'll course be, it'll not. Be, it'll be in a situation where it's like, okay. I have these hostages. Yes. It's like the only way for me to save these people. Or, like, it could be presented in a way. Like, it could, it could just simply be presented in a way where it's like, Joker gave me no option but to kill him or all these people are going to die. And I don't think that would change his public perception that much. I don't think it would. That doesn't like, happen. Maybe, that it, what do you mean it doesn't happen? That doesn't happen. There's been so many situations where Joker has put Batman in that specific predicament. There is, but there, exactly. So now could, this could be the one where it's simply, okay, I had to do it this time. And like people would understand. Like Gotham, I, maybe, I, I feel like it would be a very small percentage of people that would be like, oh, we can't fuck with Batman no more. Because he killed Joker to save these thousands of people, these hundreds of people. You know what I'm saying? Like if Joker like rigged a bus or something like that, and he's like controlling the wheel, or like just just this is scenarios, right? There's just scenarios where Joker. I've seen the scenarios. I know, and and this specific one. And you want the hypothetical no, uh, situation where yes. Batman cannot find another way except for killing someone? No, maybe he could find another way. Maybe he could find another way. But he chose not to yes, take that other he way. He chose not to because in this situation, Why? it could be it could simply be presented. As no, but he know. But you're saying he knows there's another way. Yes, I'm not saying Batman does know. I'm saying for public image, PR, right? Just so, like you said, oh, Gotham can't afford to lose Batman. He does this. But wouldn't the public also know that Batman always finds another way? Batman does, but Batman can just simply say there was no other way this time. <laughs> can he not? Can Batman not do that? It's no, not he like, could. It's not like Batman has never lied to Gotham before. No, he could, but not like that. Why not? Not like that. Why not? No, that's not bad. that's not his character. Which we're talking about we're talking about why has no 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 we don't want to mischaracterize these people to make them do something that they wouldn't otherwise do. You want to know why Batman, the character no, you, Batman, hasn't killed the character Joker. No, I'm telling you why I think he's a bitch because he hasn't. I'm not I'm not no, you, no no I understand the morality behind it. 
But you're saying I understand that morality behind it. The character Batman would actually kill someone and then lie about why he had to kill that person? No, no. I know that's not... In, because he's also a person on, who operates at the highest moral level as possible. And I, that's not really... I agree with you. I mean, the highest moral level possible... That he can still operate on. Apparently, is like hiding identities and... Yes, and lying, breaking bones. And lying to people yes. and... All that stuff. Lying is about his secret identity or about his life as Batman, about his double life and stuff like that, which he has to do to... A, a, a double life is still a double life. Bro. Still be Batman. A double life yeah. is still a double life. Is that Deceit. implicitly immoral? Um, yeah. A double life is implicitly immoral. Doesn't uh, matter what you moonlight as. If it, I mean, it would be a very... I imagine very small things, a double life would not be immoral. You know, like double life is like having families or I'm doing like all this crazy shit behind like I'm a serial killer. No, not, what? You know? No, that's just for you. No, that's when we use the term double life. And what terms would your double life be where it would be? A double life where you're doing something that other people don't really suspect that you're doing? That's not really a double life. That's just you unknown parts about yourself. No, that's, I'm talking about like where like, and a double, I'm a double li- a double life the has student, to- I go to college and that's all you know, that's all I appear as, but in reality, every night I go out and I play at a jazz band or something because I'm a musician. That is not a double life, bro. Stop it. No, 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 no. You know, no one knows. On, bro. Come on, no, no, no. No one knows that I play come these on, instruments. Come on, bro. Come on. I'm an up and coming. Let's say I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I want to be a stand up comedian, and every night I go out and I'm trying to do this, do do these shows and improve my audience and improve my jokes, beat on my craft and stuff like that. But to the everyday person, I'm just Khalil, the college student. Fan. And that's something I'm hiding. I don't want anyone to know about this. No one would ever. Because if they ever found out, no. I'll be embarrassed. You know, does your mom know? My mom will probably kicked me out of the house. What are you doing? This It's so dangerous out there at this time of night. The city's dangerous. You know, yada yada yada. I think a part of a double life is there's nothing implicitly immoral about a double life. You're keeping it hidden and for secret. Not, not for the, not for the for that reason. Whatever reason you just said, you keep it hidden for the people close to you because no, that's that's the double life of a superhero. But not a double life implicitly. You know, I don't even want to stay on this. That's well, well I'm gonna remember this. I remember that double life thing for later. <laughs> I don't want to stay. On this. I don't want to stay on this. I don't want to stay on this. I don't want to stay on this. Right? Batman, as smart as the man he is, the genius that Batman is, world renowned genius, billion dollar detective, uh, billion dollar world's company. greatest detective. Get it right? Yeah. All right. It's my guy. My favorite superhero, by the way. You can say whatever. World's greatest detective. Yeah, for sure. Whatever. Cool. Cool. That's all good. That's not me saying that, by the way. That's I know it's not. I know okay. it's not. I know it's not. I know it's not. You said you. Right, I know, whatever, I know it's not. Ahead, you want to throw in their slogans and stuff? <laughs> like I'll throw in Captain America's slogan, all that type of stuff. Whatever, we can do that. Mm-hmm. Simply stating that Batman, as smart as he is, should realize, you know, maybe after the ninth or tenth or fifteenth time, <clears throat> that this system is not working. And maybe, you know, he knew the, the system oh, wasn't working from the moment he became yes, yes, Batman. Yes, I get that. But for this specific individual, it's causing far too much harm. So, even if it goes outside my morality, I will have to do something I am uncomfortable with for the greater good. Is that not what heroes do? They sacrifice themselves for the greater good? They sacrifice their lives, they don't sacrifice their principles. They don't sac- heroes don't sacrifice their principles. That's sure. what makes hold on, them hold on, heroes. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Do heroes not sacrifice for the greater good? They sacrifice their lives, not their principles, not the things that they hold true and near and dear and absolute truths. They don't sacrifice those things. Uh, we can... They oh, heroes, man. anti-heroes maybe, but not heroes. We just have some... Oh, we're gonna have not some, heroes. We're gonna have some debates. Man. Not heroes, bro. We're Tell gonna, me, we're gonna have am I missing debates, something? Man. Can you... What hero sacrifice the principle? The first one that comes to my mind is Iron Man. That's the first one that comes to my mind. But he never had a principle about not killing people. He made war no, no, weapons. No, no, not about not killing people. About like just principles that he had, and he went against those principles in certain situations where, like what, like civil war. He went against principles that he thought were that he wouldn't need to go against, or because the time that it was at. But then all these things started happening. And Wait, there what was principle? Outside, there was outside pressure. What principle did he go against? Oh, I'm trying to think of the premise of Civil War. Civil War the is accords. like all, yeah, all the, the accords, the 
the government intervention, all these type of things. Those were things both Iron Man <coughs> and Captain America. So Iron Man before was all about this is my property, you can't take it, yada yada yada. Iron Man was I'm not mu- Iron Man to you or the government. Yes, Iron Man was a very Iron Man was a solo guy. Right, and then in and Civil then War now, he started thinking maybe I should be beholden to these greater powers. They're not going against the principle though. You think me saying that this stuff is mine, I want it as a principle? No, but the way you operate off the principle where it's like, um, like you said, I'm not beholden to all these other things. That's that's a complete principle. That's, your whole independ- that's like an independence principle. I wouldn't principle. put that on a principle level. I would. I absolutely would. If you're saying, I, like, like look at you know, like Captain America did. Captain Mer- like Captain- How can Captain America not put on the principle? How can Captain America... How can you not put on a uh, principle level for Captain America? What principle? Iron Man? Uh, Captain America was like, uh, I, Captain America's thing was, I'm going to save somebody regardless if, like, who, regardless of what other outside powers are fighting over the th- the people I'm saving. Right? right? He am said I, that, yeah. Am I, am I, like, I'm, 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 that's what he wanted to do. Yes. That, that's fair, right? Right. And now this other outside intervention, like, accords and countries and world leaders came in. And they're like, nah, you can't do this. You're fucking too much shit up. Right? So how come I can do that for <clears throat> Captain America? But in Iron Are Man's you saying that Captain America's thing is a principle, but Iron Man, you think that's what I'm saying? No, yeah, what it sounds like you're saying. No, I, didn't, I wasn't even talking about Captain America. No, but I'm just saying that's like Captain America is the opposite of Iron Man, though. That's why I could use that easily. Yeah, you can have opposite beliefs, but that doesn't mean the principles. You know what a principle is? A principle is an unchangeable core foundational belief. <sighs> That does not change. Your opinions can change. Your belief in something can change. And Iron Man's belief in it, the way he was operating obviously changed, but that's not a principle. The definition of a principle is that which you know, is unchangeable. That is which unchangeable? Is a you belief. Know, that, look it up. I'm going to look it up. I'm going to look it up. Look the keep, denotation keep going, keep going, keep of a principle is a belief that will not change, no matter the circumstance. And there's then if that's the case of principle, there's nothing. there's almost nothing that should be like that. Some people have principles. No, everyone has principles. No, not everyone has principles. <laughs> Some people have <laughs> principles. All right. A fundamental truth or proposition that serves as a foundation for a system of belief or behavior for a chain of reasoning. There is no <clears throat> unchangeable thing. No, in I've, I've definitely looked it up. That's, I, like, that's, that's why I've never heard this unchangeable before. No, no, no. no. I've, I've heard this, like a foundation. I've looked a this up. A, I heard principles of foundation before. And that's very fair. Right? You have your principles of how you should carry yourself. Like a principle is like something like, oh, um... You know, you treat people well, like treat people the way you want to be treated. Was that from Webster? Treat people the way you want to be treated, right? Like treat people the way you want to be treated, right? That's like a principle, right? Or like respect, res- like uh, like how you hold yourself with dignity and respect. That's like you a think principle. principles can change, like beliefs, like just like that. Beliefs do change. No, but you think principles can change like beliefs. Beliefs do change, but you think principles I think, I do think are on the same I level do as beliefs. I think principles can change, or I, th- I do think you can opposite oh. outside your principles for specific cases, which what Batman should do. If you're bat if you're Batman, right, and you're seeing something's not working, you're a smart guy, you should simply say, okay, this is one time I will op- I'll operate outside this principle. Yeah, I don't see this unchangeable thing. I, I don't, don't know see why this unchangeable that. thing either. That's why I'm, I'm very confused by it. Maybe I'm using the wrong word then. Maybe you are using the wrong word, which is which is okay. I'm not gonna fight yeah, with yeah, you yeah. about that. That's fair. That's fair, right? I'm simply stating that if I'm Batman, <coughs> I can like. For all the Captain America and Iron Man stuff, if I'm Batman, I can see this thing is not working, right? And besides, besides it being against my core, I know it's against my core belief. It can be against your core belief, but this is something that has to be done for the greater good. And you think, all right, so let's let's and let's I, go down this route. Let's yeah. go down this route. Let's say Batman. And I'm not giving him this leeway. And before you go, I'm not giving him this leeway to do this like again. I'm not giving him this leeway to do it again. You're not giving him this leeway. And, and, and let's let's just go down this okay, route. Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. Batman is in the situation where. He's had, you know, one too many encounters with the Joker. There's one too many people who have died or too many people in danger. And he's like, I'm about to end this. I'm about to end this man's whole career. Mm-hmm. Right? Takes out his batarang right in the forehead. Joker's dead. <laughs> right? He's like, fuck this shit. You're about to die right now because I'm sick of you. Joker's dead. And the world, maybe maybe the, the people he saved is obviously rejoicing. GCPD. Wait, hold on. Was there people that were being saved, or just yeah, there's people that were being saved. Okay. He was holding people hostage. Okay. And Batman put a bat on his forehead, and he saved everybody that day. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Okay. So what happens again. Though? So everyone saw this. Yeah. The GCPD saw Batman murder someone. 
The GCPD saw Batman murder somebody. Murder? Yes, murder. I... Yes, murder. Joker was threatening some people. Batman said, Batman said, don't do that. <laughs> You're about to die. And he killed him. I, I don't know if that's, that would be the right word here. What would you call it? I feel like it's some form of defense. I honestly feel like it's some form of defense. Some form of defense. Yeah. You see this person about to do something, so you kill them, and it's not a murder. I... They're about to do something really bad, and you... You kill them. Whether or not you I found you, like, whether or not like the court f- punishes you or not, that's yeah. a different situation. But we saw someone. We saw no, but mur- but using the word murder though, murder is not the same as like a self defense type thing. Which is why I feel like murder is not the and I, that's very that's very the word murder so is why, very important. Why is it's very important? It's okay. Very, okay, killing somebody versus murder. Is so very tell me different. why murder is tell me why murder is doesn't murder work just, here. Murder is just me like just <clears> murdering. <throat> That's me just killing you. That's me just shooting somebody on the street. And that has to be, you. and that that has to be, under the conditions that I'm be, not about to do something bad. It could be premeditated, or it could be, yeah, yeah, of course. Okay, so murder only is a murder when the victim wasn't about to was up to no good. Wait, what? what? Murder is only murder when the victim was not up to no good. When the victim was just being his or her <laughs> own innocent, carefree, good self. No, you could be up to no good. You could be like a, a drug deal gone wrong type thing or whatever. It's still a murder. But, but let's when, say, in, this, in this specific situation where someone's threatening other people's lives, I don't think you will be on the hook for murder. Which is what I'm saying. I, I don't think the word, I don't I don't think the word, I don't think the word is murder either. Like if you have people, like let's say for example, if there's like a mass shooting and I go in and stop the mass shooting. I'm not by gonna, killing him? Yeah, I'm not going to go to jail for murder. I'm not gonna be charged. Okay. I won't be charged. I see your point. Murder. I see your point. I see your point. So, so I shouldn't use murder. No. This so is the GCP just saw Batman kill someone. Yeah, it's very. And that's but that's very different though. Killing first murder. No, I get it. I get yeah, your point. Yeah, I get yeah, your yeah. point. So if you like, if you stop a school shooter by shooting the, the school shooter, yeah, yeah, would you go to jail for murder, or would it be considered a murder? I don't know. I think it would be self defense, or it would be like a um, form of self defense. Well, you you're, yourself isn't in danger. But I think you're. But I don't think you would go to jail for murder. I get your point. Oh yeah. It wouldn't be. I get your point. Yeah. So let's not use the word murder. Yeah. So the GCPD saw Batman kill someone uh-huh. out of uh, duty, logic, frustration, anger, whatever whatever Batman's reasons were. Okay. All they saw was him and, <laughs> ring and put it in Joker's forehead. What do you think their reactions are going to be? I... You see, the, you, co- the context plays a big thing here. Yes, yes. I does. just want to know, like, high level, I, high level, good reaction, bad reaction. To, to, to Batman. To Batman? To Batman. Well, specifically Batman, I think they'll be shocked. Right? Bat shocked, good shocked. Good shocked, like, oh, I thought you were never going to do this, or Bat shocked, like, what the fuck did you just do? No, I think shocked in the sense of, like, disbelief. So not even good or bad, but it's like, wow, that really just happened. You you know, so it's not it's not really good or bad, but, but it's we're just, talking it's about like the GCPD. A, so no, yeah, just just if for something them. has to be done, they would have to do it. So they need to make a determination I, about would, what just happened. I, they would not make a determination that Batman was in the wrong here. I feel like they would not do that. So you think that Batman could not murder, kill someone very publicly on his own? He's not a police officer. He doesn't have a badge. But he's been doing all these things on his own. Anyways. Right, right. Like, look how much power they gave him. No, I understand. So I understand. I understand. I understand. I understand. I understand. And it was is the very same situation with the school shooter. If I do it, I don't have a badge. I'm not a police officer. Yeah, right. So I wouldn't necessarily be a bad guy. And the thing, and when it comes down to all the people you've saved, I imagine society as a whole, while they don't encourage that behavior of just like oh vigilantism, I take you out, all this type of because a lot of stuff can go wrong there. Vigilantism in the fact, like, like, like in the fact that, like, like Punisher vig- vigilante or like Batman vigilante. Because if you're a vigilante, you're just killing people who you think no, should and, be and, killed, and, like and, the Punisher. And Batman vigilante. So you too, like though. the Punisher, huh? Because uh, he just kills people who that he thinks should die. No, I'm, I'm not. I don't agree with that. Like you, you, you're. I don't want you to I'm mistake. Asking. Yeah, 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 I'm asking. No, no, no. I. He's intriguing. I'm not like his biggest fan though. Would you call him a bitch? Oh no, nah, never. <laughs> no, no, never. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. Because he's killing people. <laughs> I wouldn't do that. Nope. But you would call Batman a bitch, even though Batman breaks dudes' femurs and collarbones and, and shin bones and does all that stuff to sure. them. But he's still a bitch. Being somebody just because he doesn't kill them. Beating somebody up is not 
I make you like. I, I no, like, just no. because he doesn't kill him, he's a bitch. I just want to understand where you're coming from. No, because <laughs> he hasn't killed the specific person. It's one specific person I'm talking about. And if you want to throw Penguin in there, I, you know, I'm even willing to give you like some leeway for Penguin because Penguin literally murks children. Okay. Right, but for Joker specifically, we're not done going down that path. So you, what? Oh, from Punisher back. All right. Right. Continue, continue, so, continue. so, so, so. Let's say the GCPD has a favorable reaction to Batman killing Joker. Like you said, you think they would be just in disbelief. And since Joker was starting other people, Batman wouldn't be on the hook for murder or something like that. He just was like a civilian who did the right thing. He was a good guy with the gun, good right? Sam- good Samaritan. He was a good, Republicans would love him. So <laughs> he was a good guy with the gun. <laughs> and so the police let him go, right? So that's good. What do you think the, the public thing. perception of Batman would be now? Just the average Gotham, I think, Gothamite. I, I think he would lose some of that, like, God. I think he would lose some of the myth. Some of it? it? Yeah, I think he would lose. No, yeah, I think he would lose the myth. I think he would lose a lot of it. I think I think if he was to go down that route, and that's that's one of the things I think about the most when it comes to, when it comes to if that would happen and what effect that would have on him being Batman in the future, if, if he shows that he can get emotional if he shows that he is susceptible to the same base desires and same base instincts and same base actions as your everyday man who would do the same thing in batman situation he's just another guy at that point and why would criminals have to treat him or why would he still have that effect on criminals when he's shown that he's just a man now i don't think his myth as a force of nature as an impartial sweeping force of nature that treats everyone the same would be gone, right? Nature doesn't just be like, fuck this one tree in particular. Like, you can just like, okay, a lightning bolt hits a tree. Is that nature saying, I don't like this tree? <sighs> no, it's just nature saying, I hit tall objects. This tree's tall. I'm about to hit this tree. Yeah, but na- I don't think being part of nature is where I treat everything the same, though. Like, Batman doesn't treat the Joker the same as he would, like, a, a low-time bank robber. You don't think he does? How so? You don't think he comes in, apprehends the Joker, then hands him over? I don't think he's having these psychological discussions with the bank robber. I don't think he's having... Well, the discussions isn't in his treatment of Joker. I, I think it is to an extent. You mean the discussions he's having with Joker or with himself? Like his internal conflict that he feels when no, it comes like to Joker? The, like, they, like his and, desire to kill him, but not... Him and Joker have a lot of back and forth, and they're like they both need each other and all this type of shit. Joker says that shit. He doesn't say that shit. Batman knows it's true. And Riddler always has conversations with, with Batman about how I'm superior, I'm more intellectually superior than you. And Penguin always talks about, oh, you destroyed my family. I hate Bruce Wayne. Yada yada yada. Harvey Dent's like Batman. He has discussion with all his criminals, bro. Uh, I feel like it's not the same with like, Joker. Those, definitely those, has those, a deeper connection with him. Yeah, but those are head bosses too, and I feel like he doesn't have those same things with like what would be. Like if a dude was holding up a grocery store, what you know would what he? Would well, you think he was? He's gonna start talking about to Batman about how no, you need that, me and I need you? No, but that just goes into different the different things of how not everyone's the same. That's, no, that's simply what Batman I'm saying. is I'm still gonna saying. do the same thing to this guy that he was gonna do to the Joker if Joker was doing that. <sighs> given, uh, I feel like it's a give and take. I really do. I feel like it's a give and take. Batman comes in, breaks bones, hands you over, and that's it. It's it. Everybody. Everybody. How often is he that with Joker, though? All the time. But I feel like he knows like that's not a valuable negotiating tool with him, though. Like, in the times, that's in the part times, of his in myth. The, in the times... I, what do you mean? No, he doesn't for, know... For, for Joker specifically. I feel like he knows he can't intimidate Joker in that type of way. So that's just a case of how... You can call that... Detectivism or whatever. Sure, sure. He can't. You know what I'm right. Joker isn't as intimidated by Batman as the, no, and the it's regular like, guy. Like him, just like being him up physically, would not garner the same information. So we no. But I'm talking about it in the treatment of the Joker. But that's a different treatment, though. He's still beating up the Joker. He's still breaking a few bones, as maybe, he with the other guy. Maybe, but like, like let's say if you work under the Joker, he'll hang you up, break your bones, interrogation techniques, he'll break your ribs. Like, he breaks ribs. He loves breaking ribs for interrogation techniques, right? Yes. That's one of his favorite things to do. <laughs> yes. He loves breaking ribs. Right? As but he wouldn't hang the Joker up, is what you say. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah because Joker is, is who he's trying to get to. No, but still, like, but, no, he could, he could be trying to pry information from the Joker, and he wouldn't go to that technique. But, though. I mean, but he you know still interrogates Joker. He, he, he does, did it in the Dark Knight. Like, it's, it's, different, it's different techniques and stuff. So that's but he still I'm does saying. the interrogation. 
It is, but like he doesn't do it the okay, same. Okay, so way. he doesn't break the same yeah, bone no, for everybody. Same he doesn't break the same like, like, rib in the same but it's way like for everybody. Some people like like Joker. He'll like try to like not negotiate, but he'll like talk to him, right? And then maybe he'll like hope that he can get some type of like they'll play like mind games with each other. And that's his type of thing with him. Yes, I think. Other, all right, like you know, right. you know, yes, you know the I'm same way, from? but not in the exact same way. Yes, yes. He's all gonna right. try to get information from Joker and from the other guy, but not in the exact same way. Yes, and my hope, but I get that to get back. Cause I don't, don't want to veer too far off in the and in, in these other aspects where Batman has to put the Joker down. He has to. Yes. Batman has to. Cause everyone, or not even just. Not, it doesn't have to be just Batman, but it's no. It does have to be Batman. Why does it have to be Batman? Because everyone else has shown they're incapable no. of doing what needs to be done. No, 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 no. They have. No, right? no. How many more lives? Bro, no, like, no, 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 no. Batman can capture the Joker. Put him in the GCPD. Joker's in the jail cell clapping and shit. Someone could just pop him right there. Why does it have to be Batman to kill him? That's completely different. Why? Why are you, why are you not asking why police officers haven't killed the Joker when there's I'm been not, hundreds I'm not of them, talking maybe about, thousands of them with the opportunity to kill Joker? I'm not talking about Batman just killing ba Joker when he's at, uh, apprehended or detained. I'm talking about Batman killing Joker in the given context of Joker is terrorizing. But that's not the only situation where you can kill the Joker. It's not the only situation where you could. But and that's he still does. In but your this mind, this is a situation I'm killing the Joker in. Yes, but your premise of this is that Joker deserves to die. He's yes. the type of person who. Yes. Not because he's threatening his people, he deserves to die. He deserves to die. Because Penguin threatens people, Harvey Dent threatens people. They don't deserve to die. So if Joker doesn't deserve to die just because he's threatening his people. He deserves to die because of his past. And his past is still with him when he's in the jail cell, clapping and stuff like that. So why don't they kill him then? Is my point. Why is it on Batman? It's not on Batman. That's, Batman's Batman's job, his role that he chose, is to help the enforce the law enforcement part of the law, not the decision making part, not the court part, not the not the justice part. He's there to facilitate well, justice. I'm happy you asked that question because that that reminds me. He's there to help bring people to justice, but he just, he's not here to mete we're, out justice himself. We had, a, we had a conversation about the death penalty the other day, and we'll get we'll get further we'll get much farther into the death penalty the other day. But do you believe in the death penalty? Like if if I no, yeah. So if I killed like forty thousand people in some crazy attack, would you think I deserve to do? Would you I, do you want to have that discussion now? No, but I just want to I just want to use it as a preface for my point I'm about to make. Okay, so if you so kill 40,000 people? 40,000 people, right? Yes. You apprehend me, you find me. Mm -hmm. Would you think I deserve to die? Regardless of what the court say or not. Regardless of what the court say. I would want to kill you. Do I think you deserve a quick death? Like, do I think you deserve to die as in I shoot you in the head right now? Is that what you mean? No. Any way you want to kill me, you can. You can oh, not, you yes, can not, you I want to kill you slowly. I want to put you in jail and have you rot. That is not the same thing. That's how I want to do it. But that's not the same thing, though. Me, me getting old and dying of old age isn't the same thing. And just but you're not just you know happily. Oh, but I guess I'm old now. That's not me just dying. Chilling. That's not me just. That's not me dying. A slow though. death is a lot worse. Then you're dying slowly right now too. Yes, you are, the but only, not in the, the same only, way. The you don't only, have. You don't have. The only difference. Your between, freedom. That's the only difference. You don't have the quality of life that would make that life enjoyable. I get that, but that's, I mean, I understand where you're coming from in those aspects. And you're, you're suffering still, every single day. People, people can make the most out of jail. Not but if it was up to me, I wouldn't right, put yeah, you in a place just, where you can just, make the most out of it. If it I mean, and that just, might be even yeah. more messed up than just shooting you in the head, which it is, which is what I want. I don't want you to just have a quick death when you just kill 40,000 people. Maybe you shoot me in the ribs and I bleed out. No, no, Maybe no, because then you still die today. I, a slow and painful death. You still die today. I want to drag. I might be a sick bastard, but I don't drag it that sounds, shit out. I'm not gonna torture you, as in so I'm gonna come is, waterboard you. Is, <laughs> but I, I want to drag the, that out. This is like your reasoning for not killing. Like, yeah, so that's why I don't believe in the death penalty. So that's why you wouldn't, and this is why you wouldn't want to kill the Joker. You just, and that's one of the reasons why I don't believe in the death penalty. Because you believe they should pay for their crimes, and their, in a the, very extreme pay, way. Yes, and them paying for their crimes is this long, drawn out thing. Where they, where they want to die, but they can't. Yes. And I, mm. I understand. Mm. If Joker ever was in that situation, imagine Joker would be like, just kill me, please. And then you don't. Imagine that. Isn't that a lot more satisfying? And you know what's worse? What's worse is I have to imagine that because this <laughs> never happens. It never happens. I'm so happy. So just imagine I, oh, it. Yes, imagine. It doesn't. Oh. But just imagine it. Imagine unicorns and rainbows. And, yes. And uh, uh, yes. a yes. gold uh, box of gold at the end. Right? Yes. Imagine all of yes. those things. And also, another reason, I, we can get into this, but another reason is like, 
the death penalty can make mistakes. And if someone is just in jail, then there's a reason to actually save that life before you. The mistake can be taken. Yes. That's, that's another but in, in this situation. But we're talking about the Joker, and that's not. We that's know not, the Joker. Yeah, that's not the case. Right. Right. It's not the case. You're not going to mistake a guy with. I just didn't want to make it seem like that's my only reason for not being in favor of the death penalty. Whatever you say, you sick bastard. But. Wait, what? <laughs> all right. <laughs> but in this situation, in the given context, I'm killing the Joker. The Joker. Right? I'm, I'm killing about Joker, Joker in a specific context. I'm not just going to Joker's cell and popping him in the head. Joker is terrorizing people. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, this will not, I will not tolerate this anymore. And while you're in the act of committing these crimes, right? right? That's a very important factor in this. While you're in the yes, act of yes, committing these even crimes. Even then, even then, it's not have, a Batman. You have, no, but in the reason, and yes, thank you. The reason why I go back to why it's on Batman, let's say the courts are like you, and they don't believe in killing people. But they want to, but they can't, right? They don't have the power to do so. Okay. Batman is one pseudo police officer mm-hmm. that can take the brunt of this decision, right? Can he? Yes, he's not. What do you mean he? He's not the police, uh huh. Right, but he's also not a regular civilian. Okay, true. Right? Both true. So he kind of in this gray operating area. He's been working in the whole time, mm-hmm. right? Commissioner Gordon is on his side, all this type of stuff. Mm-hmm. Some police don't like him. Yeah, and you have to understand why he's on his side as well. No, uh, yes, him not killing people is a, a huge factor. To big, big, big. Because Commissioner Gordon believes in that too. Yes, big thing, mm-hmm. right? But how many people's lives are going to be caused in you holding this high morality? Like, you have to look at the practicality of the situation, right? Yes. You can't, like, how but many look more? Look at the entire practicality of it. Yes, how many more thousands of people's lives can can I. Like, literally let on my... It's at this point, like, it's on your hands because you have the power to do something and you're letting it go. Like, why Why did Batman... We're talking about Batman right yes. specifically. Why yes. did Batman become the Batman? Because his parents were killed in front of him. Yes. And he became the Batman to prevent more deaths. And you can say killing the Joker, and which is absolutely true, killing the Joker will, pre- will prevent a lot of deaths. But if you became the Batman to prevent deaths with your own hands... Can you still say that? Can you still find peace with yourself, knowing that you be, you began doing this so that you can prevent death with your hands, and then you start you took a life, you caused a death with those same hands? Yes, you can. You will still find peace with yourself for that. A hundred, yeah, you hundred percent can, because you could say this was a give. This was an ex, like no, no, there's ex- no, no, oh, no. Look, 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 no, I became look, this you're thing being, because you're, like, you I see, wanted to prevent death with these hands. And then I'm now the one causing a death. Yes, you're causing a death. Yes, a right? death. We cannot be beholden to our principles where they just make us lose sight of all practicality. We're not life. losing sight of it. We are losing because sight Because we're still of trying it. to save all those people that Joker would hurt. You are, but look how many people he's hurting because you haven't done the thing that you know you want to do. No, and you, you did everything that you were supposed to do. Bro. Batman did everything he was supposed to do. He did everything he was supposed to do, and clearly everything that you think he was supposed to do has not been enough. So the one thing that he's been holding off on this whole time is the thing he's supposed to do. No. It will stop no, 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 no. It will stop He's everything. not supposed to kill people. That's not why he became Batman. He he's did not become Batman to kill people. He did not kill people. No, I'm not the So ba- he's I'm not, not supposed ba- to kill the Joker. Yes. And this, no, 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 no. What? Yes, he's what? supposed to kill the Joker. <laughs> no. He's supposed no, to he's kill not. the Joker. He this became the Batman. He did not right. become Batman to we kill people. We cannot become beholden to our principles where it makes us lose sight of practicality. Right? Bro, it's the not practical, practical thing is to kill the Joker because no. it would save thousands the upon thousands The practical thing to lives. do is to bring Joker to the place where it makes sense for his life to be, his life sentence and this has, to be determined. And this is That the, is the practical option. You know, it, option. it would be practical if the courts and the police and the DA worked like they were supposed to. Yes. And, and they, you know in this what? situation, they do not. So and it's you know not what? practical. And it's not like Batman's just giving the Joker to like any random po- uh, cop. I know he's not. And he's not. just giving it to any I random court. I know he's court. not. I know he's He not. knows the cops he's giving it to. Those cops have connections to non-corrupt DAs. They do. Non-corrupt lawyers. Non-corrupt they whatever do. they need. And then a lot of times, how many times the Joker has gotten out? Not even because he's so smart and he got out, but because other criminals busted him out. 
That's true. And but this goes over the this like. This isn't a failure of the court system. This just keeps. It is a failure of the court system. If you keep, if this guy keeps getting broken out of jail, how's it not a failure of the court system? If you're a court system and you're like, I'm, I'm the head of the county jail. Yes. And people keep breaking out my. I keep keep. No, 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 no. The court system a, is the one right, who well, determines what your sentences are. Right, well, if you live or if you die. The whole. That's what they the did. The whole police and infu- uh, I don't even know what you want to call it. The if I'm department. Not, if I'm not calling it the court system, I'm talking about the whole judicial branch. Whatever you know, you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Sure. You know what I'm talking about. The police and jails, you're like, you know what I'm talking about. Don't matter what the word. Is. <laughs> Don't matter what the word, is, right? If they have shown they're inept of doing this thing, it clearly is not practical. So because their walls back. cannot withstand RPGs, they should just kill all the prisoners who are likely to get broke to get broken the, out. It's not all the prisoners. They should just kill because Joker is likely to get broken out. Yes. And because their walls are not RPG proof, and because Joker should be killed. Not because they're not RPG. <laughs> not because they're not RPG. Bro. Hold, on. Hold, on. hold on, hold on, Not because they're not RPG. Bro, right? I'm not letting you go there without RPG struggle. Right? This man has evaded the systems over and over again. He's when, not when, caught when and the, sentenced repeatedly. When, whether it is him getting broken out of jail, whether it's him being given second chances. That happened like one time. Whether bro. it is whether it is that him, was one time, it is bro. Corrupt cops and like, oh, we can't arrest you on this technicality or like whatever the situation may be. Time has shown you that this way is simply not working, bro. Honestly, if I keep trying to add one plus no. one and make it equal three, and it does not equal three, I have to go another way. You think no that's matter, what Batman's doing? No trying matter, to make one plus one equal three? No, he's trying to make one plus one equal. Like I said, one plus one equal two, right? That's, my, my, that's what he fun, is doing yes, because he's, he's accomplishing he's everything he's he set out to do. One plus one is fundamentally supposed to equal two, right? Yes. In the situation, one plus one has never equaled two. In Batman situation, yes, one plus one. Is so when Batman equal has two. apprehended the Joker as he meant to do, and has Joker sent, but one plus one equaling two does not end with that though. It ends with Joker and finishing his life in jail or in the psychiatric ward. So that's the two. Yes, that is the two. That's that Batman's too. Batman has to make sure that Joker stays in jail. Yes, as this guy. No, 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 no. The reason no, 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 no. The reason he has no. to is because this person keeps getting out. Bro, just, that's like saying if if a police officer arrests, if someone comes in, if the police comes in no, right no, now it's not and the, arrests us, he, he is supposed to make sure that we serve our sentences because he's the one who arrested us. No, it's not. You know why it's not, no, it's not the same? How? The police officer is not part of that branch. The police officer and is Batman not, is Batman is a pseudo force, like but he's said. a pseudo police officer. He's not a pseudo deputy chief or whatever is but the person being, who keeps being a the person in jail allows him to operate in that gray area. But he's still a pseudo police officer, not Hold a pseudo on. supreme court leader or whatever. Him, it whatever it is, him, but allows him to, him being pseudo allows him to operate in this him gray being area. Pseudo allows him to bring. Criminal into the GCPD without he himself being arrested. And Batman's also that's his yes, role, that's cool. he's also, not to make sure the Joker stays in jail. He's also just vigilant. Put, yes, he's no, he's that's fair. Khalil, bro, as, I'm giving no, no, I'm giving, I'm giving this to you. I'm giving this to you. I'm giving this to you, right? So I won't even say. You still think I he should even, kill him? I won't even see. I won't even say Batman's two should be that. I'll say Gotham's two should be that, right? That Makes fair? sense. I that's like fair. that. I like that better. I like that better. Gotham should be. I like that better. And as Batman, as this. Protector of Gotham, or this? <laughs> Why you say it like that? Right. Is that is that fair? Is that fair? Yes, word? he's the protector, protector of, Gotham. of Gotham. Has clearly failed his job. What? At this person that is terrorizing his, Gotham. Wait, 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 wait. You oh. said he failed his job. You said he failed his job. Yes. What was his job? We just said it's the protector of Gotham. And what does that entail for his part? His part of protecting Gotham. What does that entail? What is his job? Keeping Gotham safe. No, no, no. Dangerous people. And he's not the only one doing that. He's not right? the only one doing the, that. The system that he works with and his job in protecting Gotham is to find out people who's hurting others and bring them to the GCPD for them to make the determination of what happens to these people. I, and he does that job marvelously. Impeccably. He brings, he captures those people and he brings them to the GCPD. That's his job. And he does that impeccably. As a protector of Gotham. Does he not? No, he, okay. He's great at that. And he's not the be all his, end all protector of Gotham. I just want to make that clear. He's not the be all end all. No, I've, I've never said that, not debating that with you, right? But as a protector of Gotham, if something keeps terrorizing your city, mm-hmm. the places you are sending him are not doing a capable job of detaining this person, detaining mm-hmm. like a threat, right? Mm-hmm. It's like a coronavirus, mm-hmm. right? 
and you're protecting your city from coronavirus. And every time you protect your city from coronavirus, it just keeps coming back in different ways, right? Like the places you're sending this virus to be withheld and all the medicine to be withheld, shit keeps happening to it. You're going to think, huh, now is the time where I just have to do th- things in a different type of way. And right? instead of instead of coming up with a way to better contain this virus, Cause you, know, you should just, let's say the virus was a living, breathing person, you should just kill this person. In this circumstance, given the lives that have been lost and the amount of times. And oh, you're not even the, the lives, reason why this I'm not, coronavirus keeps I'm not, coming out, right? I'm not. And you're but not the one who gone. determines where they go. I, I'm gonna let you. I just want to get yeah, these, these. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Okay. I'm not. <clears throat> okay. But as an American, as a simple man with common sense, let alone my genius intellect, <laughs> I can clearly <laughs> see that this thing is not working. And while it may not be my job or my responsibility to, it becomes my responsibility to, because this thing. Cannot happen over and over. And again. everyone now should expect me to make this extra thing my responsibility when there's any number of people who could actually eliminate this virus source because I'm not the only one handling this virus. I'm not the only one handling this virus. You're the one. You're the only I'm one. I'm the one who brings it to the people who no, make the decisions about not, what happens to this virus. To and yet viruses. I'm the one you, and who's not, supposed and, to kill and it. And not everyone has to expect you to handle that. I'm not, not, like, not but everyone's always asking, why hasn't Batman killed the Joker? I don't know who everyone is. I don't know who everyone is. Like like you said, your boy. No one ever asked why hasn't a police officer killed the Joker. Your boy, Commissioner Gordon. I've never heard anyone ask that. You have those situations where, well, police have the liberty to kill the Joker if they wanted to. Why not put a sniper on the roof when Joker's threatening all these people when he was on top of the truck about to set them all on fire and shoot Joker in the head as a police officer? That's a phenomenal question that... Why is it on Batman then? That's a phenomenal That police officer does not have any morality preventing you from doing that. But you want Batman to break his principles. Hello, that's a phenomenal question you just asked right there. Why are the police, when they are in situations to take the Joker out, not doing it? You know why? Because they're incapable. No, they're inept. They're just not, the whole system is, is mentally ill. They cannot do what they need to do. And you don't think it's fair to make, to address that? You think it's fair to then take oh, the person oh, yeah, who yeah. actually has this, hey, you know, you know what? the character let me, and let the me, morality against this thing and make him break himself, right, man, make him right. lose himself? Let's, so why is it not fair to ask the police to become more capable, which is what, by the way, Batman uh, is trying to do? They're trying to do for how long? It doesn't, it doesn't matter. No, it doesn't. Oh, it doesn't matter when thousands and thousands of people are being killed. It doesn't matter. His role is not his role. That's not his role. It's not his role. That's fine. You want Batman to be God, bro. I don't want Batman to you be God. You want him God. to make all these decisions when no. that's not what he set out no, to do. No, that's not no, what he no, should no, be no. doing. No, 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 no. I don't want Batman to be God. All right? There is one specific person that needs to die. And you want Batman to do it. When Batman has the opportunity to do it. A lot of people have opportunities. And they have shown they're mentally no. inept. They no, are, no, like, no, no, The no. whole department is inept. They can't they keep him in jail. They all choose to not do it. Not because they're inept. They all choose to not do it. But yet, you don't ask why they choose to not do it. You're oh, asking why Batman chooses to not do it. There's never been times when the police shot a Joker? Because that's what you're telling me right now. The time, there's times where Joker has been threatening people, and they have a shot at him, and they don't shoot him. No, but you're telling me the police have never shot at Joker. That's, that's, what, that's what like I'm hearing right now when you say, when you just said what you just said. Right. They have shot at him, but then they've had opportunities to kill him, right? Yeah, they have opportunities to kill him. They shot him. To- no, like actually, no, not like shoot, not opportunities to shoot at him. Opportunities to kill him. Yes, they've had plenty of that. And the police will, you know, Joker's a white guy. The police will always try to bring in the white guys. <laughs> you know, no matter, no matter what happens, police will always take a, you know, they always, you know, Burger King and all that type of stuff. You know? I'm but, not even going there right <laughs> now. What? I'm simply saying. I'm talking about you want Batman to break to break protocol. His personal protocol yes cool, cool, but you cool, don't want cool, cool. a police officer to break his personal protocol the, no i do i would love for the police to but do why that. aren't you asking for that because they're incapable no it's like it's they like are me. capable no 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 no. the no. same way batman is capable of doing it the police are capable of doing it but they both choose to not do it the so. police have shown gpd gpd right gcpd gotham gotham city police department right? yes i was saying G, gotham police department whatever right gotham city the the courts the, the, the jails and prisons, you, they have shown me time and time and time again 
that I cannot ask them no, no, for no. anything. The, I can't ask them for anything no, they because show they me. are corrupt, they are inept, and they are useless. They, so I will go to the one useful person no, I have no, no. and say, you take care of this business that these fuckers cannot take care of. <laughs> Do you understand what I am saying? I understand that, but you're going to the wrong person. No. You're going to the wrong person. You, know you want to corrupt the part of Gotham that should remain incorruptible. It's not corrupt. Yes, it is. No. If someone should be breaking their morals, breaking their beliefs, I'm changing their principles. I'm not corrupting Gotham by that. No, I'm you want to corrupt corrupting. Batman by that. You want him to change. You want him to lose himself. You want him, the one person who's the most effective in this thing, to lose the part of himself that allows him to operate at his highest level. If Batman kills the Joker, I can tell you his character will not be the same. I don't know if he'll be as effective. He will, it will, I have no doubt it will dawn on You him. want to break the most effective part of the system br- instead of putting the onus on I Commissioner have, Gordon. I have confidence. Instead of putting the onus, onus, I have confidence in my guy, Bruce. Instead of putting the onus on a random police officer who has the opportunity to kill the Joker when Batman brings I him would, into the GCPD. Why is that not the great philosophical debate? Why is no police officer out of the hundreds of, or maybe thousands of them doing anything? Why is this on Batman? That's why I don't get. Because, That's why I'm saying Batman shouldn't do no, it. No, I, I told you. They have shown to be useless. All of them have shown to be useless. No, 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 no. All of no, them have no, shown no, to no. be useless. They've right? shown to be useless in the fact that they can't capture the Joker. But not useless in the fact that they can't kill the Joker. And we can't simply just kill somebody that's detained. We cannot. Like, well, I'm not, that would be breaking protocol, but it is possible. They do have the is, ability to do it. And you'll be sacrificing this one officer. You will still have the entire very, police department, hold on, hold on. and you'll be sacrificing those, this one officer. The police department will still have his image. But those are very. They do it all the time. He's a loose cannon. He was a bad apple. He was a bad apple. They love that shit, bro. You tell me that won't work here. Why are you not asking for that? It could work. Why are you not asking for that? Would, would that make co- more would sense? Your, would your commissioner allow that? No. That would that you? that police officer would be done. Of course, he's a bad would apple. He? We got rid of him. Maybe. I think. I think. Maybe. I think that's gonna be a harder sell on people. What? That doesn't make more sense than asking the man, the no, man I, I who's most I just effective, I just, like, oh. to lose himself, to break himself, Hold on. to do Hold this on. thing that someone you, else could do you worry about public, more easily. You're worried about public perception, right? No, I, no, no. I'm also worried about Batman being able to be Batman. I have faith in Batman that he will recover and continue to do the He things. doesn't even have that faith in himself. Yes. How can you say that you have faith in him? He knows that he won't recover. <laughs> he knows he won't. He said it time and time again. He did. He knows that he won't. But I think Batman will be able to reason with himself that he can see the Joker. Like, hold on. So how come everyone else can see the Joker so different but Batman? How come everyone else can see him? Batman's clearly think... different from other people. Come on, That's why he's Batman. Come That's why he's Batman. Come on, man. That's why he's Batman. Come on, Khalil, That's why he's Batman. Khalil, come on, bro. That's why he's... Is he not? Is come he not on, different from man. other people? I'm not saying that. But just because he's different from other people doesn't mean he can't understand everyone's reasoning. Doesn't mean everyone's wrong. How come everyone's every single person can see? Hey, the Joker is the exception, right? <clears throat> everyone can see that. Mm-hmm. Everyone can see that. Mm-hmm. Besides this guy, everyone like, can. See- I, I think. I think. No, 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 no. Hold on, no, no, no. Let me and, right, and ahead, just keep ahead. going. I think he will be able, especially with all these people around him backing him, be able to reason and find it within himself where it said, maybe this was against my moral code, but I did the right thing. Because this person has taken life after life after life. Who do you life. think would be in this corner? First of all, my boy, it's Jason, not my like, boy Jason Todd. Yeah, I don't think Batman would be pretty. I also believe Dick Grayson would be in that corner as well. All right, first of all, you can believe that if you want. But first oh, of all, oh, who's the other guy? Who's the other one missing? I know, Alfred? Da- I know Damien would be in that corner. Well, obviously Damien. He's an assassin. Why is that? Who's the other, what's the other Batman? Batgirl? No. Nightwing? No. Red Robin? Tim Drake? Tim Drake, yeah. Tim Drake, man. I think, he was, I think he'd be in that corner as well. Everyone can see. <clears throat> everyone wants to kill the Joker, mm-hmm. right? You're saying everyone can see that Joker's the exception that he should die. Yep. In Batman's mind, Joker is the exception in the fact that he's the only one that he wants to kill. Batman can recognize that Joker should die, that he wants to, in the fact that he wants to kill this particular person and no one else. Batman has never spoken about fantasizing about killing anyone else but the Joker, but he has spoken about fantasizing about torturing and killing the Joker. So Batman does understand where people are coming from. That's first. You know, there's a, there's a great saying, you never know what you're capable of doing until you actually do it. I think Batman has a pretty good grasp about what he's capable of doing. 
Uh, you know what? I think until Batman actually does it, he won't always heal. I think he has a pretty good grasp. You know, I think when you we talk about hey, Batman, man, I think he has a pretty good grasp. You can, you can think you're, about what he's capable. It could of. be Obama. It could be Trump. It could be Putin. It could be anybody, man. You never know what you're capable. But we're of talking about Batman until you actually <laughs> do it, right? We're talking, we're about, talking yeah, about the man world, who dodged world, a bullet world, and then put a battering in the barrel of the gun. World leaders, bro. It could be you. Come saying, on. It could be Usain Bolt. Like did Usain Bolt know he's capable bro, of running I, a nine a nine six two until he actually did it? He probably did not, right? I think Batman. Well, I think he will be okay. That's what I'm saying. I think Batman will be okay. I think, and even you can think that even, if you want. Even if Batman's not okay, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. You think Gotham City is better off with that? Batman I, killed the Joker. He I disappeared. I think Gotham City is better off without the Joker. And the Batman? If you lose, if, if Batman if kills lose, Joker, he we, will lose himself as well. If we lose Batman to like, it's a, it's a, it's a watered down Batman. I can live with that. I can't live with Joker getting out time and time again. Murking thousands and thousands of people. I can't live with that. I can much rather live with a wired down Batman who's not as effective. You know what I can't live with? Lose. What? I can live with the fact that we're not going to agree. <laughs> I want to ask. I don't know how long this episode is. <laughs> All right. But what do you guys think? And I already know what you guys think. What for the think? most part. I know everyone's going to say, why hasn't Batman killed the Joker? I'm just saying, why is it on Batman to kill the Joker? That's, that's what. Why are you changing the question? You're saying, why hasn't Batman killed the Joker? But why are we even asking that question? I told you why. Everyone else is incapable. Or inept. I told you. They're, they're capable. They're just, all right, all right, all right. They're inept, right. bro. All right, and capable. They're capable. They're capable. Well, they're, capable. they're inept. I'm sorry. No, inept. they can still shoot the Joker when he's in a cell. They can That's, still... I, they're capable kill, of doing it. We're killing Batman in a specific context. I mean, and I'm, Joker and I'm putting context. And I'm putting... This is, this is your context, and this is my context. All right, so let's kill him in my context. Why can't we kill him in my context? Because your context is really fucked up. And having Batman break himself him, is not him, fucked him up. Him saving lives, or hey, yo, you, you, or him saving lives as well. You're in your cell chilling. No, he's saving lives as well. Yeah, but one one's in his cell chilling, posing no threat. And you think you well, think the public would not like that? Posing no threat versus threat is very different. Those are very two different moral things. And now we're going, down, we're going down the no, whole no. But we also spoke about that because you don't think Joker should die because he's posing a threat. You think he should die because of who he is, and he is who he is. Yes, whether or not I he's know, in his cell, I know, or he's actively I know threatening I people. I can't kill him unless he's posing a threat. I'm not gonna just murk Joker just like yo Joker's in his cell, all fine. But it's this Joker. I get that. It's not anybody, it's hey, Joker. Hey, hey, hey. This man just killed a bus of people. My son was on that bus. And if it was my decision. I'm about to walk up to him and end his whole career, bro. Unfortunately, the courts won't kill him. That's why it has that not happened yet. Of all the people he's murdered, there has to be a relative in the police department and say, yo, you killed my wife last week. You're done. Here's my opportunity. You're done. I wish they would. Why are we not asking that question? Why are we saying Batman should break his principles, change who he is, not be able to operate as a Batman as he wants to, when it could be done with much less to lose? This one officer. You know why? Versus losing Batman. You know why? Why? Because Batman's a bitch. That's why. All right, man. What do you guys <laughs> think? <laughs> that's, why, that's, why, that's why, man. Right? Comment down below. Do you think Batman's a bitch? Bruce Wayne. Bruce Wayne. Batman's still my guy, though. Don't get twisted. Stop it. He's still my guy. No, he's not. No, he's not. No, he's not. Listen. I understand everything Batman does. You can't call him a guy what you just thing. said about him, man. Listen, man. I don't use a bitch word in real life. So I, I feel like I can use it when I talk to him. <laughs> I talk about fake characters. You know, I don't call people bitches in real life. Comment down below. Let us know what you think. Why uh, do you think... Do you think Batman should kill the Joker and... If not, why do you think he hasn't killed him yet? Subscribe to the channel. Like yep. the video. Like the audio. Apple, Spotify, Stitcher, wherever you listen to the podcast. We're also on YouTube as well. Share with your friends. Like and Speak subscribe. Up to us. See you all next week. See you next time.